You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Banks versus Hawkins. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Banks, you say the defendant is pinning her baby on your son, Daryl, who was tragically murdered before her child was born. You say Daryl told you he didn't believe he was the father, and you intend to prove that today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Hawkins, you state Ms. Banks has no idea how much Daryl loved you. You say Ms. Banks is denying her son's legacy, Jasani. And you claim today's DNA results will prove Daryl is the father. Is yes, that correct? Your Honor. So, Ms. Banks, why do you believe Jasani is not your grandchild? Um, because, Your Honor, I don't believe that Jasani is my grandson, and I'm here to prove it today for the simple fact that Jada and my son had a very rocky relationship. Um, my son, me and my son were really, really close, and, um, we were just were really close. We talked all the time, every day. He would just call me to tell me that he loved me. I never knew of Jada, really, until right before my son's death. Um, Jada met my son on Facebook, and she came and moved in with him the same day that she met him. Oh. They were dating, and they were off and on. They kept breaking up. They kept breaking up. So when my son told me about this, I told him that I was going to get a DNA. And the type of person my son was, if he really believed that Miss Jada had his baby, he would have said to me, no, Mom, no. You don't need to get a DNA. This is my baby. Because Jada's not the only girl who claimed to be pregnant by him. There was two other women also. Before we get to that, Ms. Hawkins, can you explain to the court the nature of your relationship with the deceased Daryl? Daryl and I had a strong relationship. We were, we were on and off. I loved him very much. He loved me very much. When I told him I was pregnant, he wanted me to keep it. We, were, we got back together and we started working on it. When you were broken up, were you all seeing other people? Yes, he was seeing someone else, and so was I. And so, if you got pregnant during the time you broke up and you were seeing someone else, could this other person potentially be your child's father? No, no, Your Honor, because I was only with someone else for two weeks. When I found that I was pregnant, I was about six weeks pregnant. So, you feel like you were already pregnant before you and Daryl broke, broke up? Broke up, yes. When you told Daryl you were pregnant, what did he say to you? He was happy, he wanted me to keep it, and he wanted to get back together. So, Ms. Banks, how did your son tell you that Ms. Hawkins was pregnant? He came to me, he called me on the phone, and he was like, Mom, Jada's pregnant. And I was like, who is Jada? Oh. And he was like, she's my new girlfriend. And I was like, oh, here we go again. My son had a lot of girlfriends. And to me, Jada was just another girl that came along, and now she's saying she's pregnant. Of course, Daryl was gonna be like, he wants to have a baby. He comes from a large family. He, he has six brothers and sisters. So, of course, he doesn't know about not having a kid. So, how was it that he expressed that he was doubtful? When she called and said that she was pregnant, she was living with another man. Oh. Correct. Oh. I was not living with another man. I was staying with my cousin. I was in a relationship with another man. And when I found that I was pregnant, the other man said, if you decide to keep the baby, let's end the relationship. That's how I ended back up with Daryl. Thank you. So you came back to my son because another man didn't want you? Because I wanted my baby. And Daryl wanted my baby, too. Ms. Hawkins, can you tell the court how long were you back together with Daryl before he passed away? I literally got back to Daryl, got back with Daryl on October 20th, and he passed away October 21st. And you were the last person to see him? Yes. Correction, I was not the last person to see him. The, the murderers people that were. did that was the last people to see him. You're right. Ms. Hawkins and Ms. Banks, let me try to get an understanding as to what's going on. I understand. She feels like how I'm the reason her is. son is dead. That's how she feels. You're really the reason your son is dead. I'm not the reason he's listen, dead. Listen, listen, ladies. You're the reason. If he you ladies, know that. You ladies, know that. come on, girl. Do baby, it. Tell do you it. Something. If he Miss wasn't ladies, with your trashy self, oh. first, let's get some order. order. Let's there. get some order, ladies. Let's not go there today. It's bad enough that he is gone, and it's even worse that potentially Jasani 
is left behind without his father, or if he's not his biological father, without having a relationship with a biological father. Let's not go there. Why would you name him Jay Shani? When you know that my son is dead, the whole time you were pregnant, you told us you were gonna I'll name that speak. baby Daryl Ray Daniel I'll the third. That's why his name is can I, Triple can D. Can I speak? Can I speak? Okay, Daryl told me out his own mouth. He don't want his son. I said, if it's a boy, do you want him named after you? I don't like my name. Give my son his own name. That's what I did. But not only that, my son' whole name is Jasani Daryl Ray Daniel. Is your son' whole name not in that name? Just Sonny Daryl Ray Daniel! Just Sonny Daryl Ray Daniel! All right, so... Like him, him. Miss Hawkins... Da, he's in the he's, he's, he's not your... He's not your... He's not him! He's not your... Baby. 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 Let's baby. get some order, ladies. Jerome, standing between them. Goodness. You a whole vagrant. You can't never ladies. find nowhere to stay. Keep it under control. I got all my but, and I but know me and my ladies. But me and my son got a roof over our head while you was just calling me on Ms. the phone talking about, oh, my house is getting foreclosure. Because, I, you because got me... when my son died, it I don't matter. Working. It but don't I matter. Bet you I got and it I'm back. taking care of my son. Jay 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 I'm taking care of you, son. But my son. Ladies, ladies. ladies. Well, I know It's very emotional. Miss Hawkins, Miss Hawkins, Miss Hawkins, turn around and look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Calm down. Just take a deep breath. Everybody is in so much pain. You all are just so wound up. Right. Just look at me and take a breath. <laughs> take a breath. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Daryl passed while <laughs> Ms. Hawkins was pregnant. Yes, ma'am. While Ms. Hawkins <laughs> takes a minute, I will speak with you, Ms. <laughs> Banks. Okay. Once he passes, do you try to form a relationship with Ms. Hawkins? Yes, I try to form a relationship with her because I knew Jada's situation. She's young, I have a bunch of kids. I have a house. So I talked to Jada on the phone and I said to her, well, Jada, come on, move to Houston with us. I can help you better if you live close to me. I bought Jada a one-way ticket. Yes, it was a one-way ticket because you were supposed to be coming. I get to the airport, with balloons in my head, excited, because this is all that I have left of my son that was tragically murdered. I'm standing in the airport like an idiot. This one's nowhere around. I'm looking for a girl that I've never met. And she never showed. She never showed. And then when I called her on the phone, she didn't even answer the phone. What happened? Why didn't you go? <clears throat> I only didn't get on the plane because at the time, Daryl had just passed. She was going through a lot, calling me, picking fights with me, threatening me, making me feel, I don't know you. Like you said, I never met you in person. I don't know you, and I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna jump on a plane to come move with you. I was threatening no. you? No. For what? You threatened me to this day. And so, Ms. Banks, you interpreted her failure to come as this probably isn't my son's baby because she doesn't want the help of his mother. And she's acting nervous and scared. It, me, I have seven kids. I mean, you've had seven children. You do know how vulnerable you feel when you're pregnant. Do you understand how she maybe got nervous and just did not want to yes, be sir. in a new environment? She should have just said that. Well, yeah, but at... All that mouth she got? That's a lot of pressure. She got a bunch of mouth. She wasn't scared. Time. She wasn't scared. She lied. Look at all that mouth she got. Where you see scared at? Well, I don't... I wasn't gonna say she it's was not scared. Your turn to talk. What I sure. What I was going to say, Miss sure. Banks... Sure is that at 20, early 20s, you just don't always make the right calls. You don't. And you don't do things the right way. That's one of the problems when you're that young having babies, you haven't really figured things out. And so, no, you're right. Don't have somebody buy a plane ticket and be at the airport with balloons. You, yeah, you could have just said, you know what, ma'am, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not comfortable. How come when after Daryl was dead, she called me on the phone and she actually told me how she was trying to get some assistance for her and baby Jay Shining. 
She asked me for his social security, my son's social security Wait, this security is number. after he passed away? Yes. Well, let yeah, me ask you. No, so, no, that's, wait, not, how, so that's wait. not how it happened. By law, by law, if a mother goes down to welfare and file for welfare and get on assistance, the, the, the father automatically goes on child support. I explained to them that Daryl passed away. They said, give us his social, we're gonna run it anyway and find his death so where, certificate. Where did you get so that then, social at? So where then, you got it from? Okay, now? but wait, so then when I caught her and got it and they ran it, they said, okay, yes, he passed away. Maybe you can get, um, I don't know what it's called, but some type of benefits okay. for Survival my son. Yeah. Okay, mother. at the end of the day, what mother. about it? What about it, though? That's what you don't want. What, what about, about it? Me, but you don't want on welfare. You didn't do nothing Lady. for your grandson. And that ain't my grandson. But you Lady. sent them ashes. Stop. You sent them down Stop. ashes, though. Stop. You Lady. sent them down Stop. ashes, Stop. though, but it ain't your grandson. Does he have a relationship with Ms. Banks? Have you? No, he does not. Okay. For what? He ain't mine. She did one thing for Jasani when he was a couple months old. Ordered him some clothes and sent it with a lock with Daryl's ashes in it. Why are you doing that if you don't feel like it's your grandchild? Because in the beginning, because once you, once Daryl passed away, this was the last thing that I had. This is the only thing that I have for him. But I'm so sick of you. Every time you get pissed, telling me who I cannot see. So I looked it up and I found out that I have grandparents' rights and I don't have to kiss your little young behind no more. That if this is my grandson today, I can get me some grandparents' rights and I ain't got to talk to and, you and or be your friend. Can I okay, say okay, okay. I heard what you said, Ms. Banks. Now I want to let Ms. Hawkins speak. What would you like to say in response? Speak to me. Yes, when I get upset, and I tell her, okay, I don't want you in my baby life. That's because when she's upset, she tells me stuff like, my son's already dead. What you gonna do when your son die? I can't love a baby. I never, I never told you that. I can't love I a baby. I never told you I that. I never love told you that. I can't love I never a, told you that. I can't love a baby I never met. And she, she has another boyfriend now. Already. I'm still mourning. I can barely, I'm still sad. I, I'm still crying every day. How can, right. you, be, how can you be so and, eager to have another so, man? You but, just keep getting more men. But, but Miss Banks, okay, take a breath. You say, as much as you express that you are upset with Miss Hawkins, you say, this baby's all I have. This baby's all I have. Are you just so hurt? And I, listen, I, I couldn't put myself in she your shoes. She knows how hurt I am. Somebody murdered your child. I want to know how you gonna react. That just is because not, you that went is off not and got so another... Said. That is not what you Listen, Miss Banks, Miss Banks. That is not what you said. Miss Banks. Yes, ma'am. I, I am, I am, I'm here with you. I'm, I'm, I'm right here with you and I, I understand your pain and I'm right here. Is it your hope that you do have that legacy of your son? Yes. So you do really hope and that's why despite the doubt, you still sent the ashes, you sent the clothes. Yes, if I didn't like her, there was nowhere she was gonna be. Okay. She would never be at my house. Okay. So what I wanna do, Your Honor, is I wanna find out if this is my grandchild. That's... So then I'm gonna have a different attitude toward this little girl. Uh, okay, then that's what we oh. need. Let's oh. focus on, let's focus on what we need to do to be able to get to the other side. Let's focus on that. Jerome, may I have the envelope, yes. please? There Thank you. you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Daryl Daniel. We performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, LaWinda Banks. And with that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Jasani Daniel, and LaWinda Banks. These are the results. In the case of Banks versus Hawkins, when it comes to 21-month-old, Jasani Daniel. It has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Lewinda Banks and Jasani Daniel is 99.99%. You are related. <laughs> 
<laughs> what now? I'm sorry, Jada. I just needed to really know. I just needed to know. No, please go. Just stand still. Just, you can make it. You can make it. I I'm know sorry, you've baby. been through a lot. Please, please. I'm sorry. It's okay, and I I'm forgive sorry. you, but I need, I need a minute. I'm Listen, sorry. I need a minute. Just let's I take a breath. She's just sorry. saying she's sorry. When you've been through this kind of trauma, I mean, this isn't just disappointment. This isn't even betrayal. This is tragedy. This is trauma. Both of you are still suffering. And you may say, oh, she moved on to the next one. Many people go through trauma in that way, too. I want you ladies to start thinking about your mental and emotional health because the way you feel and the way you behave is going to directly affect that beautiful little boy. Miss Hawkins, if it's okay, can Dr. Jeff be in the room with you guys so that Miss Banks can meet Jasani and just enjoy him and begin to start connecting with him? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. He will take good care of you all. <laughs> I wish you all the very, very best, and I'm so very sorry for your loss. Court is adjourned.